and one of the goals of Black History Month is not just to celebrate achievement, but also to bring awareness to experiences. Yeah, and at the Westmoreland Museum of American Art, visitors can see the American dream through the lives of black Americans. Mikey Hood recently made a trip to Greensburg to find yet another Western Pennsylvania connection told through the brushstrokes of history. Declaration and Resistance is a labor of love. It's a series of paintings and quilts that I've done over the past like 13 months. Um, I really wanted to highlight American labor and black American labor in the United States. Earlier, this show had a much more darker tone and during coronavirus, I decided that I wanted to create a celebratory tone to the show. Visual artist Stephen Towns paints from college in state archives, which are primarily black and white. He brings himself into the work to help interpret it. I love color in my work. I love to make things beautiful, so I want people to know that they'll see a beautiful show. I use a lot of metal leaf, um, a lot of reflective uh, fabric, so it'll, you'll see lots of sparkles. I include butterflies in a lot of my work, and for me, they are representations of spirituality. Sometimes the person is surrounded by them, or sometimes they're behind them but they are a way of reflecting and showing how spiritual and beautiful each person is that is in the work. Having an artist create 37 works, paintings and quilts in such a compressed amount of time, which is about two years, is practically unheard of. And this guy looks familiar. Yes, it's Teeny <laughs> Harris, Teeny Harris. Um, the curator Kololo introduced me to his work and we went to the Carnegie and the Carnegie now has his archives so it was exciting to look at his work and learn about the man and so I saw this image of him and this little dog it just captured my heart the, the relationship between the both of them mm -hmm. and the look in his eyebrows I bet he never knew somebody was going to look at <laughs> no. his eyebrows so much um, and I felt that this is a warm sort of loving image of Teeny with the animal. Yeah, and he, I know he's so used to taking the photograph, so to see him in an image like this. These stories, no matter how horrific, but also happy, that he wanted to show that there are all these different layers and complications. But through it all, black people survived, we thrived, we pers persevered, and we exist, and we continue to exist, and we continue to create. This exhibit is so important for this institution because African American history is American history, African American art is American art history, and we really wanted to bring those stories of labor, bring those stories of how this country was built to the center. I want people to praise and love essential workers, especially black essential workers, because throughout American history, black laborers have created so much that we see now, and we need to have a greater appreciation of, of them. I'm Mikey Hood for PTO. What an oh, impressive exhibit. Powerful. Absolutely, yeah. So Declaration and Resistance is on display at the Westmoreland Museum of American Art right there in Greensburg. It runs through the end of May, and admission for this is free. It's good to know. And our thanks to the museum for sponsoring this segment. You can find more information at PittsburghTodayLive.com.